it's going to take years for artists to recover from what happened last year. Now, the, art, the arts have been, of course, hit hard by this pandemic. Yeah, but some Grace Lake artists decided to get creative and turn their own garages into an art gallery. This is super cool. Let's check in with Brittany Garzillo, who is live with this story. Brittany? Well, Natalie and Anthony, this is anything but your average garage sale. The pieces in here collectively took months, if not more, to make. They're all handcrafted by three Grays Lake artists who had to find a different way to sell their artwork when the pandemic hit. All of our art shows, as the pandemic rolled along, they were all canceled one by one. And next thing you know, I had 12 scheduled. They were all canceled. So watercolor artist Jim Brookshire, photographer Ernest Schweit, and colored pencil artist Phil Shorn sought out a solution to safely showcase and sell their artwork. I looked at it as, I got to do something. They found the answer. Just hold it up. In their garages. It's like uh, an art show without all the hassles. Throughout the past year, the trio has hosted day-long showings of their work, which they call Art in the Garage. What we set up is, is a driving art fair, if you will. On the day of the event, customers can pull up to their house, peruse their pieces in a socially distant way, and then make a 10-minute drive to the next artist's garage turned gallery. I've sold maybe uh, mostly small works, maybe 15 or 20. It turned out to be a wonderful success. The two other artists agree and say they may even plan to continue this post-pandemic because not only have they been able to connect with the community, but it's allowed them to add a little color to even the darkest of days. I'm trying to add beauty to people's lives. Now, the artist garages don't always look like this. They're set up right now because the next event is tomorrow on Saturday from 10 to 5 and then the same hours on Sunday. You can also pick up a flyer inside their garages with all the artist locations so that you can continue the art tour. Live in Grays Lake, Brittany Garzillo, Fox 32 News. We love it. Thank you so much, Brittany.